What I'm doing here is I've created a new page because I want to display a list or a grid of posts or articles that I've done which I've tagged in the category affiliate marketing because I want this to show all my articles I have written and will write in the future about making money from websites. So just create a normal page, give me the title, a bit of text, but here below this text I want to show all my posts related to affiliate marketing. So I've check the category box for affiliate marketing. So to do this, I'm going to use a plugin called Views. That I've talked about a lot before, and it's from a company called On The Go Systems. And when you install it, you get this Views tab here. And what I want to do is create a view. I've created many views in the past for all sorts of things. But I'm going to do a new one here. I want to display all results. I'll give it a title of affiliate marketing view. Okay, so first off, we've got to say what we want to display. So I want to display posts because they're just normal posts. I have custom post types set up in this website but I'm just going to use normal posts here. I want to order them by post date. I'm not going to have any limit. I'm just going to say show them all for now. And then we are going to add a filter. So I want to filter it by category. And then it knows all the categories I've got set up for my posts. So it's affiliate marketing ones I want to show. So I'll save that. Okay, now in this window here, this is where we decide what we want to show. So I want to show the post title. I want to show the an image for the post and then a little bit of description, a little bit of an excerpt. So we can, we have various options we can do, but I like to completely filter it myself. So I'm just going to add what I want to show between these loop areas of this code. So this is where we put all the information. So I'm just going to click fields and views. You can use these wizards, but I'm just used to doing it this way. So this is the way I'm going to do it. So we have all our basic standard information here, post title, post title with a link. That's what we want because we want to show, the, well I want to show the title of the post and then I want you to be able to click it and go to the post. So I'll, I want to put that in. And I'm not going to put any styling, so I'm just going to insert that. Go down and I'm going to put another one. So I've created in my post, I have this extra custom field that says featured image for the view. So I'm going to put that image in there as well. And I'm just going to put some holding text in here for the image title and alt text, but I'll change this later. So call it holding title and, and holding alt. And I'm going to say, just leave, the, leave these all as default and I will set this with some custom CSS later. So I'm just going to insert the short code. There we go. So I'm just going to update this and then I'm going to go to my pages, open this in a new tab. Just by the date. So this is this new page I've set up. So I'm just going to go to the bottom and I'm going to click this fields and views button and this shows up when you install the plugins, this views plugin. So I go down to my views and I've got this affiliate marketing view that I've just created. I'm going to put that in, update. And then we view this page.
So this is a writing, this is a text beforehand, and, and here we go. Each one has a title, which you can click. Links through to the actual post. Has an image. Which when I hover over it, just shows a holding title that we put in, the words. And you know what? That's okay. I like it how it's got a big image, but the title needs to be bigger and needs to be more spacing between these different posts. So that's what I'm going to do now. So let's go back to the view. And here is a title. So I'm just going to simply make it put the H2 heading tag around the title. I'll update this to see what this looks like. And already that looks better. We've got a much bigger title here. And that will probably do for me. But what I want to do now is I want to space these out a bit. So under this image or under this whole area, I'm just going to put a bit of um, a margin bottom just to push this next one further down. So what I can do here is I can put a div around the whole of this information and then we'll just assign a margin bottom to that div so div id equals and we'll call it affiliate marketing wrapper we've got our closing div tag here i'll just copy this name and you'll see here we have a CSS editor right in this window. So I'll open this and I can put the just CSS straight in here. So hash the name which I've copied. And open and close curly brackets. And in here we can put the code. So I'll just put margin bottom. We'll say 20 pixels. See how that looks. So I'll save all sections. And we'll refresh. We've got this spaced out a bit, but I want to space it out a little bit more. So I'm going to change this to 30 pixels. Yep, and that'll do for me. It's just, it's quite a simple layout, but now we have all of my posts related to affiliate marketing and earning money online. Just one more thing to do. When I hover over here, remember it says holding title because we haven't changed that. So we'll just quickly go and change that. And actually I'll do another thing. I'll make it so this image is clickable. So if you click it, it goes through to the post. Let's go back into our view. And here is the short code that displays the image. And you'll see we've got this alt home title. So we could put something in here sort of image for the post or affiliate marketing image or something like that but what i want to do is i want to display the actual title of the post when you hover over the image so a way to do that is if i delete that holding text i'll just go into my fields and views i'll just say post title insert so now we have this short code so what this does is it just displays the post title when you hover over it so well, that's the alt tag. So if I copy it, control C and paste it in for the title as well, it will display it when you hover over it. So just to show you this, so now I refresh the page to make so all the changes happen. All right, so now if I hover over it, you see it shows us the title of the post. Of course, it's different for each one course when I click on these images nothing happens because they're not linked to anything so we'll just quickly go and do that so this is the short code for the image so we just need to add a link HTML code so it's a href equals comma and then we want it to go through to the URL 
click on this fields and views tab and say post URL insert let's finish it off and then at the end we'll put the closing a tag now this turns this image into a link and it points to the URL of the post so again we'll refresh now we can click on the image it takes us through to the post and they all work so that's just a quick video for you just to show how you can use the views plugin very quickly and easily to display certain kinds of content anywhere on your site different web pages or on your home page if you wanted to so if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. So that means you can hear about all new videos as soon as I do them. And I do lots of videos on styling and using WordPress. Or if you head over to my website at www.neilcurtis.me and check out what's on there. And also subscribe to my email list so I can keep you updated about anything that is going on.